Welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, in this one, I just want to show you how you can use an effector to animate um, kind of this wall growth uh, look and feel. So um, it's pretty simple and it's pretty useful if you're looking at uh, uh, doing some sort of animation where you want the facade of a building or the wall, outside walls of the building to animate and grow. Um, so how did we achieve this? Um, let's kind of break this down. So first and foremost, I have a plane here and my plane size, you know, let's just do this from scratch. Best way to show you guys. All right. Plane. Let's just go ahead and rotate that and let's kind of size it down a little bit. Something like that. And I'm going to make it Make sure that I don't have more than one segment on each side. Um, I'm going to use a standard 200 by 200. Perfect. And then I'll make it editable. And then my axis center, I just want to make sure it is at the top of my... Uh, Uh, the top of my plane there. Almost out of it. There we go. Cool. So that way when I now, as I hold down Alt, go to Cloner, um, and I, and since I made it a standard shape, I know that um, if I go up, if I go minus 200, these things are perfectly aligned. And then I also know that if I ever want to duplicate this, I just need to go 100 to the right, um, or 200 to the right. So that way my ball seam will be gone. But we'll get to that step in a second. Next things for, um, to do is to play with the uh, effector. So we're gonna use the step effector which by default just kind of like sits right in the middle there and shows you what the original looks like and shows you what it looks like as it goes up. Um, so we're gonna, on the effector, we're just gonna drag this up so that it's completely uniform throughout. Um, so we're not really gonna mess with that. We are gonna go to parameters and play with rotation and under rotation, we're gonna do minus 180 here. No, that's not it. Minus 180 there. No, that's not it. Actually, maybe I do need my effector on. There we go. Sorry, I did need my effector on. Um, okay, so that'll work as it is right there at minus 180. And then I need to add some materials to the plane. So depending on what direction you're looking, you're gonna have a front and a back. So on my front, let's just use a standard white. And my back doesn't need any of this. It's going to be a hundred percent transparent. So I need to make sure this is on my back and make sure that this is on my front. All right. Next thing we want a box field for our effector. And we want to put the box down below. that and then that way we can control it by growing on the x-axis so starting to see kind of the effect that we're going for here right so now we need to change the uh, go back and change the uh, effector here Growing, and I think I can 
change the growth direction. one way we can do it right we can rotate it around flip these um, and so I just need to make sure that um, okay cool so now as we go up this is gonna flip around and twist so that's one way to reveal um, and then we can change the angle based on what kind of animation we want by going in here and just going into let's try that effect so now it's going to kind of careen up like that we definitely don't want that um, and then let's go back to so this is the one that we want so as it extends it's going to flip up and it's going to create the wall that we want there as it flips up. Let's flip it back down. Um, it's also cool like if you were gonna like you know animate like the building of a road um, you know, let's say, or let's say you, you, you wanted to go in, in a row here you could animate a camera flying along a wall and then just going into your um, into your dope sheet you know, let's say this was all out here several times I'm gonna just group those Right now they're all the same, but we could go into our dope sheet again. Come on. And yeah. let's see. Just kinda I'm 
clips over here. Just kind of dragging these all out. So you'll notice now my my uh, I've spaced them out a little bit. So you can imagine if you're kind of flying up the wall here. Add a camera move here. So if you're here, and then we uh, go to like our 50 frame, Let's say like somewhere there, our last frame, keyframe that. Mm, that's kind of cool, right? So you can think of a lot of infogra or motion graphics that have that sort of that building effect. You know, a lot of professional sports, maybe the stadium's building itself up and you walk, you're you know, flying around the stadium and then you finish with a big exterior shot. But, um, but anyway, this is kind of a fun way to animate the growth on the walls or, you know, facades. Um, you know, you can, you can think of a lot of different ways you could use this. I'll leave that up to your imagination, but just wanted to show you the step effector really quickly. Hope this was a good tutorial for you and hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.